Hi, my name is Brandon Wolkers and I'll be your instructor for this video. In this tutorial, you'll learn about the basics of Salesforce.com for Twitter. Before we get started, I wanted to advise you that the Salesforce for Social Media app will need to be installed separately from this tutorial, which is provided free of charge by Force Labs, and also have a Twitter account set up. There are many reasons to use Salesforce for Social Media integrated with Twitter. For example, you could reply to a tweet directly from within Salesforce, link to a knowledge base, send coupons, or use conversations for your marketing research. The Salesforce social main page shows a section to update your status, use pre-made statuses, character count, and posting to Facebook, Twitter, and Chatter pages either one at a time or all at once. Use the setup page to add the location of your external knowledge base and Bitly credentials. On the left, you could see the navigation to other sections of the app where you could add Twitter and Facebook accounts, see analytics, and pull conversations. On the main page, you could post to Twitter using mentions, topics, and URLs, just like you would in a tweet in the Twitter interface. You could even manage multiple Twitter accounts directly in your Salesforce by clicking on Twitter accounts. Let's set up a new account by clicking on New. You could give a specific name within Salesforce to clearly identify the account. We'll also enter the username for the Twitter account here. Don't worry about a password. After saving, we'll use the OAuth API to get permission to access the Twitter account. If your Twitter account is contributor enabled, check the box next to it. You can also specify some search and case options if necessary, but we're not going to go into detail about them today. Click Save to go into your new account. Now click Grant Twitter Access to use the OAuth API to connect your account. You will then be prompted to log in your account and then you will see the permissions the app will use. Click Authorize App. If done correctly, you will see the check mark next to Validated in the account. You can now post to that Twitter account on the Salesforce for Social Media page. Go into the Twitter Searches tab to pull and store conversations into Salesforce. You can provide a search name for the keywords you want to search and we'll try Salesforce Training for now. Then specify the campaign. You could also specify where to store the Twitter usernames depending on the search. For this example, we'll use New Lead. Now click Save. But the search hasn't been started yet, so let's enable it. Click on Salesforce Social, then Schedule Searches. We'll need to activate our search for it to start pulling into Salesforce. It will be about 10 minutes from now before our search starts pulling in data. Then any new conversations will come in every 10 minutes after. You need to watch though, depending on your edition, you'll get a limited amount of scheduled requests. In the developer edition that we're using, we only have 10 jobs available to run at a time. The higher increments within an hour, the more jobs it takes up. Use an hour or less to free up space for multiple searches. You can now view the content by clicking on the search name or the conversation tab to see all the tweets that mention Salesforce training. These tweets are stored within Salesforce. You may use these conversations in your reports and dashboards to help with sales and support campaigns. 